Hi, I'm Robert Coleman. I'm a Senior Applications Manager at Texas Instruments. Welcome to Power Tips. Welcome to Power Tip 27. In this Power Tip, we will look at paralleling power supplies with the droop method. Here are the ideal characteristics of a paralleling scheme. You would like to have it so that if you had a failure within your system, it does not bring down the power supply bus. Um, that kind of implies that there is no master-slave operation. Ideally, you would have no internet connect between the power supplies that were paralleled. You would have no impact on the efficiency of parallel power supplies. And you would preserve the low dynamics of a single power supply. Finally, you would like to have good voltage regulation and equal current share between all the power supplies. Here's one scheme of paralleling. We have the output voltage of a power supply versus the load presented here. Uh, the purple curve is the nominal case, and what happens is you go from a high output voltage to a low output voltage as you increase the load. And so these other two curves show nominal case plus 4% on accuracy and a nominal case minus 4%. In this case, if we connected all these power supplies together, you could draw a line along the horizontal direction where their voltages are equal, and you could read off the percent load that each one of these power supplies would be working at. And so in the nominal case, the power supply that was 4% low would be putting out about 30% current. If it was completely accurate, it would be putting out about 50% current. And then the worst case one with the nominal plus 4% would be putting out about 70% output current. So this method is not particularly accurate. And so we've taken uh, several different data points to show the current mismatch that we would get in the power supply. Uh, the first case is a not a very accurate case for setting the output voltage. Uh, we have a rather large droop percentage, and then you see the current mismatch. So in this case, we have a 3.5% accuracy, a droop of 20% from no load to full load, and a current match of 35%. In some cases that may be acceptable, in other cases that, that's totally not acceptable. You can see that, that as you tighten up the set point accuracy and tighten up the, the voltage regulation or droop, that the current mass matches can be reduced. For instance, if you were able to set the output accuracy of the power supply within half a percent and you allowed yourself a 5% load regulation or 5% droop, you can keep the current mismatch down to 20%. So how do you do droop? There's one easy way to do it if you have current mode control. Uh, you can work through the math and recognize that the output voltage versus the output current is just the DC gain of the control loop. And killing the DC gain in a power supply control loop may be rather easy if you have current mode control. In this case, we have our air amplifier that's buried within this control IC, and we simply put a resistor between the, the comp pin and the feedback pin. Kind of reviewing the uh, characteristics of the droop paralleling scheme, it's pretty good on, on most points. There's no single point failure in the system. Uh, there's no master-slave operation. There's no interconnect from one power supply to the other. They automatically put out the, the proper current without this interconnect. You might be tempted to implement this group paralleling scheme with resistors, and that would impact efficiency. However, you can modify the control loop within the power supply and have no efficiency impact. Finally, the load dynamics are preserved. The downside to this scheme is that it inherently degrades the voltage regulation of the power supply. The other downside is that the current share is not very accurate. Most cases, you're going to be doing very well to achieve a 20% current accuracy. Well, thanks for listening to this power tip. There are a lot more power tips available on the Double E Times website. Go there and search for power tips. 
or there's a link to all the articles in the description section of this video. Thanks for your attention.